Visitation of Angels and the Three Goblets. Kindly subscribe to this channel and make it part of your spiritual resource. Do share this testimony in your WhatsApp groups, on Facebook pages and groups so that it can reach many people. May God bless you. The question is how do angels look like? Firstly I greet you, brothers and sisters all over the world. I'm Pastor Moses Lushiku. Now firstly the angels are spirits without flesh but they manifest in color whiter than snow and that whiteness is brightening, it is also luminous. This is the aspect of angels ever since I saw them the fight torst time, and as I continue to see them I notice that they are always very serious. I've never seen them laughing, they are always serious, and when you see angels you feel like you want to sanctify yourself because they reflect God's holiness. They are holy. My first time to see angels was in the year February 5, 2007. It was in the afternoon in the church. I was in an eight months prayer retreat. You may ask me the question, is it necessary for a Christian to experience angelic manifestation? Since Christ has promised us the Holy Spirit, not angels as it is written. Dot dot. I tell you the truth, it is for your benefit that I am going away. Unless I go away, the Advocate will not come to you, but if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and judgment John 16. 7 to 8 and i will ask the father and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever the spirit of truth the world cannot receive him because it neither sees him nor knows him but you do know him for he abides with you and he will be in you john 14 16 minus 17 first of all the holy spirit is god he is the divine spirit that coordinate everything in christians lives he is God but the angel's responsibility is to carry out the will of God who is the Holy Spirit and God said to Moses in Exodus 23 20, Behold, I am going to send an angel before you to guard you along the way and to bring you into the place which I have prepared. Generally, angels are messengers. The Holy Spirit is the presence of God in us. God gave Moses a mission to liberate the children of Israel and he said to him, Behold I place an angel before you. The purpose of angels in the ministry or service is for performing wonders, miracles, and signs. Angels assist us in fulfilling or carrying out the assignment given to us by God because every aspect of missions given to Christian is related to specific types of angels whether it's healing, deliverance, preaching and every time we do the work of God, we are assisted by angels although we have the Holy Spirit. Like I said they are associated with specific ministries, as the Bible says, for he will give his angels charge concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. Ps 91, 11. We are not to pray to angels or to command them. It is God who order them and somewhere it is written he makes his angels winds and his servants flame of fires. Ps 104, 4. Angels are like winds as they are everywhere they move like the wind. In the day of Pentecost, there was like a wind and then a flame of fire which is the nature and characteristic of the servants of God. Angels did the works of power like winds exactly the way an angel was stirring the waters in the Bethesda pool, John 5. Angels manifest powers in nature but we are the flames of fire. The purpose of fire is purification and transformation, and servants of God are supposed to effect transformation and purification when dispensing God's counsel. Unfortunately, people prefer winds over the fire. They prefer mighty works. Winds are miracles, wonders, and signs. These are spectacular wonders that people like but fire purifies and turn raw material to gold. We should go after fire and cleansing, not just winds as we are servants. We are flames of fires. The last time I saw angels was in the 16th of December 2015. I was in my bedroom reading the Bible. I was supposed to hold a seminar. Actually, the Lord has accustomed me to these experiences. Every time I was holding a seminar, a board would appear and there will be handwriting on the board and I would take a sheet of paper to write what I am seeing on the board. Sometimes I would close my eyes and see things or images then I would write what I am seeing. These are visions. Thirdly I would see an appearance of angels or the Lord Jesus himself accompanied by his angels. On that day I was reading the Bible then I felt like a wind blowing in my bedroom. Then I began to hear voices in that wind. Later when I was writing what I was reading in the scripture I felt like stifled and hot as the day was sunny, so I decided to take a shower to refresh myself. I went to bathe and as I was in the atmosphere of the spirit I took my tablet with me in the bathroom to listen to Christian music in order to stay in the atmosphere of the spirit. 
So I started to bathe and I put a Christian song. It was in that bathroom while I was washing up that I got an angelic visitation. You may wonder how come angels are appearing to a man bathing in the bathroom. Do angels care whether the person is in the bathroom or a delivery room or a place of intimacy? Well, there are many categories of angels. There are warrior angels and if you are in danger they don't mind where you are, and the Bible says that the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them, peace 34, 7. So you got to understand that wherever you go and wherever you are, you are always accompanied by the angel of the Lord. He does not care about the place you are, it is the execution of the mission assigned to him which is to protect you that matters, whether you are in a train or drain, he is always with you for your security irrespective of the place you are. They are also angels that are messengers. If it's urgent for you to get the message whatever the place and the condition you will get the message. What happens is that as I was taking a shower I put a Christian song in order to be in the atmosphere of the Spirit. The song was talking about the passion of Christ, but very soon I began to realize that the song was bringing down my anointing. I noticed that since I put that music the intensity of the anointing in my spirit was coming down. This Christian song was getting me out of the atmosphere of spirit. When I realized this I then took the tablet and I changed the song and when I changed the song I realized that I was back in the atmosphere of the spirit. I felt the anointing again and I began to wonder why is that the previous gospel song got me out of the anointing. I was about to put the tablet back on the shelf and put my towel on when suddenly the bathroom wall disappeared and was replaced by an angelic scene. I saw three angels showing up before me. They were not touching the ground as usual. I remember in the previous vision when I saw the angel of the church who is called Marvelous. He transported me beyond the ceiling of my house at an altitude of 4 meters then he showed me how they perceive the earth. It was really dirty. He showed me the earth which looked like rotten pork skin and he said to me, this is the earth. This is why we don't trample on it. The three angels that appeared in my bathroom were not touching the ground as well. I noticed that the three angels had in their hand utensils like a glass or goblet. One of them said, Moses. Immediately I stopped bathing. I was there beholding what was happening. Firstly the three angels introduced themselves as the angels of impact. One of them asked me, Moses do you know why your anointing was brought down? The angel said, it was because of the previous song, but why did the previous song brought down your anointing? The angel asked, what was wrong with the song and why did it get you out of the atmosphere of the spirit? Actually, the song was sung by a popular female singer in the country. The angel said that although the singer is singing about the word of God she is not worthy nor sacred or holy. She just made a song and released it like that. The angel said that whenever or wherever a man or woman serving God is holy, his, her holiness is transmitted to his, her service or ministration. When a servant of God is holy, consecrated or sacred, his, her service, therefore, becomes sacred whether he, she is singing, preaching and praying. It will become sacred because he, she is sacred. The angel said that when a servant is ministering God's word and if we notice that his, her service or ministration is sacred and worthy then we involve ourselves in that ministry and counsel which could be a song or preaching. What we do is that we cause the song or the preaching to make an impact upon those who are receiving the message or the song because we are angels of impact. The angel said that that particular gospel singer just made a song and just released it without our involvement because she was not worthy or sacred. As a consequence, you ended up out of the atmosphere of the Spirit. The angel told me that every time servants or laborers are serving God whether in preaching, singing, praying if they are sacred or holy our assignment is to bring about the impact in the lives of those who are exposed to their singing, preaching, or prayer because we are the angels of impact. We use the ministry of God's servants as a channel to cause impact in the lives of those listening to them. We implicate ourselves in what they do so that it can affect, impact and edify the listeners. Beloved when we preach the gospel if we are sacred or holy, angels would come in our preaching and use this as a channel to create impact, conversion, edification, healing, transformation. Then the angels said to me that the person that was singing the song that I was hearing was not sacred or consecrated. Therefore they could not involve themselves in that music or used it as a channel in order to fortify me. As a result, the song was giving me nothing. 
It's not just about working for the kingdom but it's about being in a state or condition of consecration and holiness that will allow the angels of impact to get in your service or preaching or singing for it to impact those who are exposed to your service or ministry. This is the reason why there are many empty songs and empty preaching without impact on people that are exposed to them. Then the angels said to me, We are here to give you three secrets of impact so that singers, preachers, those doing deliverance, soul winning and all the workers of the kingdom would attract angelic participation in what they do and make an impact on people lives. As I was observing these angels they were all holding their goblets that look like glass. The first angel brandished his goblet and said, Moses look. When I looked inside the goblet I saw a greenish oil inside that goblet. The second angel brandished his glass, there was wheat seed inside, and the third angel brandished his goblet and I saw that there was water inside. Then they said, these are the secrets of impact in God's service or the ministry. After showing me these three goblets and their contents, the angels then allowed me to go get dressed. Then I took my towels and I wiped the water off my body. The three angels were still standing there. Then I went quickly to dress in my bedroom. Curiously they were also standing in my bedroom in the same position as they were in my bathroom. I thought I left them in the bathroom but I found them in the bedroom. Then I dressed quickly. Afterward, the angel that had the goblet full of greenish oil held my hand, and instantly we traveled away to an unknown place and we landed in a place that looks like an office or classroom. There was a board and an angel was speaking like in a classroom. He was teaching and his words were appearing on the board. Then the angel holding the goblet full of greenish oil said, Moses, have you ever heard about God's school? This is it. The first secret of the angels of impact. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Then the angel said to me, Today I am giving you the first secret of impact. The angel gave me the goblet containing greenish oil and said, Drink it. I took the goblet and I drank the green oil, but while drinking it I noticed that the greenish oil was foamed like beer, so when I drank it, it was supposed to cause an effect of drunkenness, not of beer but of the Holy Spirit. The angel said, the oil that you drank is the first secret of impact and you are supposed to be drunk of the Holy Spirit. Then the angel said to me, tell the church and the laborers in the kingdom that before anybody serves or dispenses service to the people he must beforehand be filled with the Holy Spirit who is represented by this green oil you just drunk. They must make sure that they are consecrated because there will be consequences. When the workers are consecrated, sacred and holy, the consequence is that they will attract the angels of impact in their ministry and service and there will impact in what they do, whether they are singers or musicians or preachers. Then the angel said to me, the reason you drunk the oil is that it is in you. It's part of you. We were still in the school of God when the angel said to me, remember Moses in the scriptures, he was not anointed though he was the one who anointed Aaron as it is written, behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head, that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garments, Ps 133, 1-2. The Bible says that when we are together let someone sing a song let someone preach as the purpose of our gathering is edification. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, with thankfulness in your hearts to God. Colossians 3.16. And do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody to the Lord with your heart. Ephesians 5.18-19. As a result, oil will flow whenever someone sings or preach in order to affect and impact or edify one another. In this passage of Keys 133, Aaron is mentioned because he was anointed and not Moses although he was called. So when Christians meet in a gathering, the oil will first flow to the leader because Aaron is the symbol of leadership. The oil will come first to the leader, then to the body which is the church. Now let's suppose in the church the pastor is not sacred and holy, he becomes an obstacle for the church as the anointing is supposed to come him first. The angel said to me that it was Aaron that was anointed as God said to Moses, See, I have made you like God to Pharaoh, and your brother Aaron will be your prophet. X 7. 1. In other words, it's Aaron who will speak because he is anointed not Moses as he is not anointed. I bless the Lord because in the school of God I learned why Moses was failing to speak. 
Any leader that is not anointed and lack intimacy with the Holy Spirit his message will be powerless or lifeless and unconvincing. The angel said that those who have not drunk the oil their words and preaching will be limited and powerless. Aaron was anointed because he had a prophetic ministry but Moses was not. Since he had no ministry he was made a god. That explains why he had difficulty in speaking the language in comparison to Aaron although he was a powerful leader. The angel said, the oil is also prophetic, with the oil, you can prophesy and declare things. The angel said, your job is to drink the oil and declare the word and our job is to come in your ministry and to cause impact including miracles, wonders, and signs. The angel finished by saying, for us angels of impact there are no such things as bad or good songs. As long as the one who is singing or preaching has drunk oil and is filled with the Holy Spirit we will enter in his ministration and cause his service to impact those listening to him. The angel said, we don't mind his voice whether it's good or not, as long as he is sacred, holy and full of the Holy Spirit we will cause his song to affect those who are exposed to it. When you are anointed you will not struggle to heal the sick. Just uttering a simple word will have an effect just as Jesus was not struggling to heal the